What are you guys waiting for? Showers. And the thing is, though, that the shower up here, like the, on this side, like on our range, right here, the tier, it sucks. And then the shower down there on the bottom, it sucks too. It's like a hose. Those two over there are the only good ones. So, so really, we only want to use those two because the other ones. These really showers suck. been broke for like for nine months, ten months now. They still never fixed them. Only thing good here is the education. That's the only thing I say is good here. All the other stuff is it's horrible. The education is what is good here because they got a good education system. That's, that's about it though. The food sucks. The room sucks. Mm -hmm. It's so horrible. Gotta, gotta live in this tiny little space all, all day. It's two people. You know, it's not just one. It's not just me by myself. I got a bunkie. Mm -hmm. I'm Sally <laughs> I mean, have you guys thought about the day when you're going to get transferred out of here and over to general or in another prison because you're 18? Yeah. Yeah, that day for him soon. Yeah, soon. Next, next week. On the 23rd. Yeah. What's happening next week? I'm going uh, to go to the doll section on the 23rd of March. Yeah. And then I'm going to move down, down here where this other guy's moving. Oh, i got to turn this one off. What, what goes through your mind in thinking about that? I'm not gonna lie, I can act tough for that, you know what I mean? Put the tough act, but I'm nervous, you know? <laughs> nervous, I'm, I'm gonna go to a section with guys that got life, you know? Two life sentences, three life sentences, not coming home that really don't care about life, which I do, I care about life. It's just, you know what I mean? I'm young. <laughs> Anyone be nervous. They can act tough and all that, whatever, they can say whatever they want, but they, they be nervous. Just gotta stay strong, that's it. It's my motto, stay strong and patient. I'll be home soon. <laughs> About a month ago, somebody over, I think it was E House. About a month ago, somebody got stabbed in the mouth. They tried to stab him in the neck, but they missed, got him in the cheek. The CEO got to stabbed cheek. too, right? No, that was, he got hit with a lock sock. Oh. And a lock sock <laughs> oh, yeah. is... <laughs> That's the, that's the prison weapon, the lock sock. Lock your sock, put it in a sock, and then you tie it. You would tie it right here so it doesn't come out. Then put another sock around it so it doesn't rip. And you got a weapon. This is deadly. So a lot of people in your gear. Yeah, die, too. In Westville, some guy not too long ago just got beat to death with lock socks to death. It's horrible. Because he had an Aryan Nation tattoo on him. See, I'm a beast. Get on the first try. <laughs> hey, do you guys ever have talk to, you talk to each other about, about these kinds of things? And oh, yeah, all the time. To help get each other through it or talk yeah. a little bit about that? That's all we really do. We just sit in here and talk all day, really. Yeah, it makes time go by faster. Sleep. That's what a lot of people do, but that's just a waste of time, I think. Just sleeping all day. I'd rather oh, just yeah. study. study. See, that's books. that's the worst part, you, cause you can see outside. You know, see how nice it is when you're in here. It's a real small window, as you can see, and just <laughs> the sun just shines right through the window. Kind of gets you sad, cause you're not home. You used to be home with the family or friends or whatever, but it just sucks being away from family. It hurts, you know. So, but. Everyone, everyone's going home mainly here. Everyone got a release date, so they'll be home. Just you gotta learn from your mistakes. Don't come back. You're supposed to better yourself while you're in here. So when you get home, everything will be, you'll be all right, you know? But a lot of people here don't do that. They just get worse. They act up, stay longer than they're supposed to be staying here. Just. Because they come to prison and think they gotta be tough. Yeah, they gotta they prove don't. themselves to somebody, but just you gotta, don't. You just gotta be yourself. I've only been here six months and I already know that. Just use your head. So. Just take it one day at a time. Yeah. And don't count the days, or don't count the weeks, or don't count the months. Because every time you count the days or weeks or months, it goes slower. So you just really don't pay attention to the date unless, like, you got a birthday coming up or family's birthday or yeah. someone important in your life. So yeah, I don't know. It sucks though. You got a 13-inch TV. 
It's real small. If you're used to having a 50-inch flat screen at the house, you come in here and get a 13-inch TV for $167. It's outrageous. And then you buy a, what is it, a 15-inch TV for $300, $200? Yeah. They aren't selling these no more. Now they're oh. selling 15-inch flat screens. They cost $100 more for two more inches and a flat screen. And for all those kids out there that may see this, mm -hmm. what's the answer? The answer is don't mess up. Just don't mess up. Think about what you do. Because look, you, like, you live in here, you know. It might look easy, like when you're filming us at school. Like just it might look Something easy to them because right. we're laughing and stuff. But really, when it comes down to it, like most out there, that's just like for show, you know. You're just putting on that face for everybody else. But once you get in here, by yourself at night, it's a whole different story. Just be a be a leader. Don't be a follower. So I guess don't be a don't be a follower. Just be a leader. Be yourself. Be who you really are. Don't be something you're not. So I could get you in here and just stay out of trouble. Cause this is not the place for real. And if you think you you act tough on the when you're out on the outs, <laughs> there's boys in here that like that stuff that. They'll, say, they'll show you tough. <laughs> yeah, you think you're big on the outs, you come in here, you get broke. Yeah. People just... Tough, untouchable, yeah. You, can't. you ain't far from anybody in here. Anyone could get to you in here, man. That's where you find the biggest people in prison. And you think the COs are going to save you? No. The COs no. are some, some of the COs are dirtier than the inmates here. So, it lets there's no work. safety here. In PC, if you go on protective custody, you still get beat up over there, so. Wherever you go, you can't act tough here. It's not the place. So I don't. <laughs> don't just be yourself. Be who you truly are. Do something in life. This ain't the place anyways. Go places. Do things in life. What is it like in here at night? A typical night? Horrible. You lay down. They say lights off. Well, they turn the lights off. And just you think about everything. Everything comes to your mind, like when you're home. And, and then sometimes, some people even cry in here. They get sad, they cry. Think about family too much. Or, it's emotional, man, because you're away from your family. Just imagine being with your family all the time. And then you come to a, a you walk 20 steps, and you touch the other wall, you know what I mean? It's a real small cell. And then when you're laying down, that's when you just think about everything. Like stuff in the past, and family members and all types of stuff, you know? Everything comes to your mind. It's just hard. That's Some people just go, go to sleep thinking about that stuff. It's, it's not right at all. I mean, <laughs> I, I work out before I go to sleep, so <laughs> it gets me tired. If not, I watch a movie before I go to sleep. Yeah. The worst thing for me is like when you look outside, like it's dark outside, you know, and you look up at the sky, it's like totally black. Mm -hmm. And just, and then I see the like the razor wire, the brick buildings, and all that. I'm just like thinking, wow, you know, like, like this is really prison, you know. Like sometimes it just hits you. Like sometimes this, it feels like a dream. It's, it's like it's not real. Home no more. Oh, no, yeah. this is definitely not home. We're behind like four fences. Sickle wire, you got barbed wire. I mean, guards razor up in wire. the towers with mini 14s, basically an M16. The only thing I like about looking outside at night is sometimes you can see the moon, just sometimes, and then sometimes you can see like this star or a planet or whatever it is, like starts out over there and then like goes across the sky. Like I watch that a lot. I just look at pictures before I go to sleep, lay down, look at the pictures, just imagine I was there. Pictures of what, family? Family, my fiance, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all types of stuff. My dog <laughs> and I miss. <laughs> I'll tell you, freedom. Like when I went to Tennessee, to Gatlinburg, we um, we stayed on a mountain. Took a picture of the house we stayed in. It was beautiful because you got a view right off the mountain. I was just looking at that. Remember when we went there and all types of places. When I went to New York at the Yankees game, I got a picture of that also. And then you come here and just it's a whole nother world. You got you got even you got your own hospital here behind the fence. That's right there. You got, you got a baseball field behind the fence. You got you can see it. So everything's behind the fence.
So if something happens to you here, you're not leaving. You're not going on no It's not like you can yeah, go to your medical mom or nothing. Or your dad. No. no family's gonna help you. You just gotta basically rely on somebody in here that you can halfway trust because you don't trust anybody in here. Nobody. You just gotta have like a decent kind of person, you know. And then you can find a cool CO that you can kinda trust. That's basically it. Other than that, you're on your own. You're on your own. Like if somebody's gonna jump you, unless you got people, you're on your own. You just, you just hit. You're done. If someone were to come here right now, I'm just hypothetically speaking, just to, to get your response and say, "Look, here's the deal. We're gonna let you. You're gonna go. You're gonna go back out." <laughs> Tell me <laughs> honestly, if someone were to give you that option to let you go, give it another go. Mm -hmm. What would you do, man? If Somebody would come here and just like give me a, like say give me a second chance like you can like go like be free you know like just be free and then like this is it you know like if you if you do do good this time then you know and I'd just be so happy like because I know now that when I get out I'm not ever messing up again you know because I know what it's like in here like really not just on TV but really what it's like to experience it the smells the feelings when you get when you're walking by, people yelling at you through the door, like really how it feels. Like I would just be so happy, like never to come back to this place again. Just... I, I'd I be a changed man. I would, um, right, going to college, I would just prove to the police department that I'm not the type of person they thought I was and just be a better person towards everybody, my family, the community, everybody. I mean, I was never no troublemaker. And the crime I did, though I didn't do, I'm in here for it, you know? So it's just, it sucks. <laughs> it sucks. I can't really say I did the crime I'm in here for, because I didn't, but it's just horrible. I just, I don't even know. <laughs> it's just crazy. Because I was never no bad person when I was out. My family could tell you that. It's just. So then what happened? Why are you here? I, I think it's mistaken identity. I, don't, I have no idea. I'm this the case I'm in here for is murder though, but there's a guy on the outs that just got locked up. Well, he wasn't. He just got locked up, and he committed two other murders. And they just caught him on one of them, and they're all in the same area. That all the murders took place in the same area, and he was bragging on the outs that he did the crime that I'm in here for. And then I guess like recently they found um, DNA on the victim, and I took a DNA test and it didn't match me. And my co-defendant, he just went to trial right recently, and he got released. And we got the same state's discovery. I mean, we're, in this, we're locked up the same you know, for the same thing. And I didn't know him at all, and he didn't know me. It's just, it don't make sense. The state, you could you could do good when you're out in, in the streets or whatever, wherever you're at the house or whatever, and they could just pick you up randomly. I mean, I'm not saying everyone's innocent in prison, but there are some innocent people, I believe. After me being in here, I believe there's innocent people in here. So it just sucks, man. Your fr your freedom getting taken from you for no reason is just horrible. I never expected. I never dreamed of going to prison. I never expected to go to prison. I never thought I would see prison. Period. Ever in my life. And now that I'm here, it's just like, man. When I was out, I feel bad for the people that were locked up and that are still locked up because now I know what they've been going through their whole lives, or. You know, like how they've been living. It's just like I never thought about that until I got in here. It's just horrible. It sucks. But yeah, I got an appeal court. I got a court date coming up soon, so hopefully they just find out that I'm not the person who did this crime. And I'll be home soon, I guess. <laughs> just gotta pray. Pray and be patient. That's it. I've been locked up a while now. <laughs>